Hello and welcome to another video. This time we're going to go through Leslie Effects, specifically Leslie Effect pedals. The ones I'm going to be using are the Leslie, Leslie pedal, <clears throat> which gives you four different options for the um, models. You have 122A, 147A, 18V, and PR40. We are using a Nord Electro 5D73 as the organ in this case. I've got the level turned all the way up. The mix is about there. Um, overdrive is all the way off at this point. Distance, this is mic distance. I've got it about seven on those little marks. Rise and fall, this dictates your uh, ramp up and ramp down time for the horn and rotor. We've got bypass, brake, slow fast. So this is how we change the speed. Oops. You can see here when it is fast, it blinks like that. And when it's slow, it blinks like that. I should note there's no way to change the actual speed of the horn and the rotor <clears throat> on this particular pedal, but you may not think that's necessary. So let's dive right in and see what it sounds like. So I'm going to bypass it first of all so you can just hear the Nord and I've got a tiny bit of reverb from the Nord. Out. Very little, just helps. I'm wearing headphones, kind of makes things not quite as dry. So I've got key click on. Okay, so that's with the first four draw bars out. And using the settings that you can clearly see here on your screen, I'm going to be playing the uh, effect here. This is 122A, that's what we're starting with. Uh, just a quick rundown of what you've got going on back here. We have a stereo input, which is going uh, from a Y cable this is the TRS side to the TS side, left and right, going into the Nord. Or excuse me, out of the Nord, rather. We've got power switch. This is for an additional pedal. Right output, left output, so we're true, true stereo. <clears throat> All right. Now, let's play. Let's give it just a little bit of overdrive. All right, so this is the 122A setting. Rise and fall, what that does is it changes the ramp up and ramp down speeds. If we go all the way up, you'll see what happens. It's a bit ridiculous, but all the way down is just as unrealistic, though certainly more pleasant to listen to. keep mine right about here I think that's pretty realistic to uh, a real Leslie 122 so 122a is what we're listening to now and I'll just play a little bit for you Here, 
you get this. And all the way over here, you get this. And I'll change it here so you can hear it as it happens. I think right about there is perfect. The mix knob is uh, basically an EQ knob, so it's blending between the rotor and the horn, the rotor being the bottom uh, speaker, for lack of a better explanation, and the upper part is uh, the horn. So you'll hear the difference here as I blend those two. And I've got just two draw bars out, the first two draw bars here. I think it is most realistic right about there, personally. Now let me just play a little bit with those settings. Grid it up a little bit. That sounds pretty good. I don't know if that's the most realistic 122 uh, I've ever heard, but it sounds pretty good. Now we'll leave those settings exactly as they are and we will switch to the 147A. So this is 122A. All right, and now let's move on to the 18V. you hear them all back to back so 122a Go 
to the PR40, which is just a tone cabinet. You're not going to hear any rotation. <laughs> Now, uh, just for fun, let's compare the 122A in this to the 122 in the Nord Electro itself. <clears throat> so we'll bypass this. So we just have the Nord Electro. And a little bit of its own um, reverb, of course. Now I'm going to turn on the Leslie speaker effect in the Nord. You are hearing, see this bypass? This is not the Leslie uh, pedal. <clears throat> this is the Leslie effect in the Nord. So ignore these little, this is not doing anything. This is off, so to speak. It's acting as a direct box right now. This is the internal Nord Leslie simulation with no overdrive. <laughs> drive to it from the Nord again and you'll hear Cutting the overdrive all the way off on the Nord. So we're going to compare the Nord directly now to the 122A in the Leslie. So this is the Nord bypassed. Uh, excuse me. This is the Nord with its own Leslie. So we'll play exactly the same thing on the Nord with its Leslie and then exactly the same thing on the Leslie. Uh, and the Nord. So here we go. Okay, you could let me know which one of those you think sounds better or which aspect of this you like the most or if you think they all sound terrible. Whatever, in the comments, of course. Comments are always enabled and I will do my best to respond to all of them. <clears throat> let's switch gears and uh, go to the, let's see, what's the next pedal? Ah, the Electro Harmonics Lester K. All right, 
Now, having just compared the Leslie branded Leslie pedal with all its models to the internal simulation in the Nord, now let's go ahead and look into another one. In this case, the Lester K. Electroharmonics makes this. It is a stereo rotary speaker emulator. And we have pretty sparse knobs here. We've got volume, drive, slow, fast, and balance. Bypass, speed, and brake. I don't ever use the brake. Um, you might do that in jazz, uh, that kind of thing, but I don't personally ever use it. Most of the time my Leslie is spinning at a slow speed. So let's do what we did before. And uh, right now we're bypass. So we're using it essentially as a direct box. And this is just the Nord. Okay, a little bit of reverb as I said before. And now let's turn the Lester K on. Off, on. All right, so let's drive. Uh, let's start with it all the way down. So I'm going to turn the reverb off on the Nord and let you hear the difference while this is on. It definitely has a boxiness to it, um, a kind of a hollow room sound. It's almost a room reverb sort of sound. So I'm going to turn the reverb back on just so you can hear the difference. And this is without. Okay. Just leave it on just because it's nice in my ears, not so dry. Definitely a pronounced difference between this and uh, the Leslie pedal that we just saw. So let's just play a little bit and uh, turn the drive up as we go. Wow, that gets really buzzy. But even up there, it's not too unpleasant. I think I'd like to keep it probably right around here. That's interesting. So listen to the acceleration and deceleration there. can actually hear the two uh, components, the rotor and the horn, separately. What's interesting is that the rotor never really seems to speed up too much. And by that, the rotor, I mean the bottom speaker. Listen. Interesting. Now balance, again, this is sort of an EQ knob thing, just like on the other one. This is all the way down. This is all the way up. And in the middle. There's an interesting kind of wide organic feel to what this is doing to the sound, which I think is kind of missing in the other pedal. It's really interesting, really interesting. Let's turn the 
drive all the way down and you'll hear it again. <laughs> I get much more of a um, sensation of the rotors and the horns actually moving air with this, which is uh, really kind of shocking because the price on this is really much, much lower than most of the stuff out there. But uh, let's just take the uh, eight and four drawbar, which in case you don't know is the third and fourth and do a sweep like this. Turn this up just a bit more because I feel like this is a little more natural. I confess to you, I keep trying to change the speed over here because that's where most of the others are. <laughs> but. nasty with it all the way up. I might mention that these switches are really really nice they feel really nice wonderful uh feel to them there's very little i mean i could easily and i probably should have before we did this velcro this to the nord and just tap it and it changes and you can see here the acceleration and deceleration and i i like kind of the boxy character of this because it doesn't sound like anything else. It doesn't sound like uh, the Leslie pedal we were using a minute ago. It doesn't sound like the Neo Ventilator. It doesn't sound like the Nord. And I'm going to turn the Nord reverb off and just play with the, you know, the entirely the character that this is imparting to the sound. <laughs> I do like a little bit of reverb, absolutely, but I can live with it being off when I'm using this because it's got that that dry room sound to it. It definitely sounds like it's in a space. It doesn't sound like it's been um, taken out of that space. It's really interesting. I, I'm really kind of shocked how much I like this thing uh, because it doesn't really sound like a real Leslie, but it sounds... It sounds distinct, it sounds good, it has its own personal flavor. I could easily use this as my Leslie Sim. Not just on, uh, not just on organ, but you know, if I wanted to do some electric piano stuff. Something like that. so you can hear. Let's try it on a Wurlitz 
Spencer sound. This is all coming from the Nord, by the way, the sounds. <laughs> That's really interesting what's happening to that sound. Really interesting. But let's go back for the uh, to the organ. a tad and i think i want to bring my reverb back yeah it's, it's really good so now that we've played a little bit with the balance knob uh the volume knob has been pretty much where it is <clears throat> the whole time let's mess with the slow and the fast uh speeds this is something by the way that the uh, leslie branded pedal did not have does not have so let's turn this down so you can hear this meaning turn the drive down so it's not so dirty. Slow, we'll take that all the way down and see how slow it gets. <laughs> That's funny. That's a slow, I mean, you could actually be fine right down here. should be normal. You can definitely hear the sound changing. You can hear it uh, moving. Okay, so because we don't have a distance aspect to this, you kind of are just stuck with that. It's interesting, it kind of has a distant mic sound, but it's it's got that in-your-face swirliness to it that is uh, definitely pronounced. So it's not... It's not nauseatingly close Doppler effect, but it's definitely uh, close enough to be, to be nice. Now let's mess with the uh, fast knob. This is gonna be how fast it gets when it's all the way up to speed, so. You can do some interesting things with that. Very strange uh, warbliness. Right about there is as far as I would take it. And honestly, where it is clicked into place um, is for the fast knob. Doesn't look like it's quite centered. That looks more centered, but this is where the knob indentation is, so. That's much more akin to a real Leslie as far as uh, the speed itself. Now, I will note that the stop and start is a bit drastic. Uh, the stop especially. So the start is... Start is uh, fine. But the stop, listen. Quickly that happened, let's pull some draw bars out so you can really listen. It's 
yeah, that's just... It's kind of crazy. Kind of unrealistically crazy, but I kind of like it, and especially for the kind of gospel sounds, you know? to do something really dumb but I want I want to hear those low notes at the same time so bear with me here okay now let's compare the Leslie internal effect on the Nord with that of the uh, Electroharmonic Celester K. Now it's going to definitely be different. Okay, so let's turn on bypass. So here's the Nord by itself. Let's turn on its Leslie effect. Okay. I'm going to play exactly the same thing on both. First the Nord. I just did on the Nord as well. Okay, that's the Nord, and back to the Lester last time. So this has been a comparison of, so far, two different um, effects. We've had the Leslie, uh, what did I do with it? Let's just get it back in the picture so you can see. We had the Leslie pedal, whoops, wow, you can tell these are totally homemade videos, right? Basically an iPhone on a mic stand, <laughs> nothing fancy. <laughs> I do this in my spare time just for fun. Okay, and to uh, share the knowledge, hopefully. I'm much more professional than Sweetwater, by the way. Okay, so, <laughs> Electro Harmonics, Lester K, the Nord Electro 5D, and let me take a minute to say something about this. The Electro 5D is, as far as the organ is concerned, at this point, I say at this point because it took a minute for it to get there with uh, software updates and such, the 5D 73, or 61, if you will, 
is identical sound wise in the organ department leslie speaker organ engine all that as the electro 60 which is the newest one and the uh, stage three at this point with all the software updates i think you'd be very very hard pressed to hear a difference in those three if anything i would say the electros have uh, possibly a small edge over the stage series as far as the organs go but not in a way that it's going to make you say, oh, I need to buy the Electro over the stage. Buy the stage if you need the ultimate all-in-one stage keyboard. All right, now let's move on to our final contestant, the Neo Ventilator. That's up next. Stay tuned. Okay, now we come to the Neo Ventilator 2 which is considered by many to be the absolute best uh, Leslie simulation currently available. And I will not tip my hand. I'll let you decide what you think is the best of the ones that you've heard so far. So as just before, we're going to be comparing the internal simulation of this with the um, Nord Electro 4D73 internal simulation. <clears throat> so let's start with it bypassed. A little bit of reverb. Now, one thing you're going to not see is me doing much with this button, and that's because I've got a foot switch connected here, which uh, changes the speed, and that's not something I had the luxury of with the other two pedals. So, here we go. This one is quite a bit more involved, quite a bit deeper, uh, wider as well than the others. Now, <clears throat> with the Neo Ventilator, you have two functions in one pedal. Okay, so we've got fast, balance, drive, mix high, uh, low, and mix high. Uh, we also have slow speed, acceleration mode, remote, and level. Level is quite simply volume. Uh, fast speed controls the speed of the horn and rotor. Balance is the balance between the horn and the rotor, so this is like our EQ knob, just like before. Drive is self-explanatory, that would be our overdrive. <clears throat> or you can think of it as distortion if you like. Mix, or uh, the distribution of the low signal or mixer distribution of the high signal is going to be rotor in this case, horn in this case. And you can um, also use these for distance, so the distance of the upper and lower mic or mics. So if it's all the way over here, you're going to hear a very, very distant, almost dry signal. All the way over here, it's going to be really in your face, and I'll let you hear all that as we go, okay, because we have quite a bit more uh, tweakability with this pedal than we do with the other two. All right, so here we go. Here's the sound of the Neo Ventilator. Drives all the way down. Uh, pedal's all the way off. Now you're going to hear a little more overdrive as I increase that, get a little more crunchy. Okay, 
That is definitely different. Definitely has a completely different character uh, than the Leslie branded effect pedal. Different than the Lester K and certainly different than what's in the Nord Electro. However, I think it's closest to what is in the Nord Electro as far as the simulation. Now, let me tell you what I've got going on as far as these settings. So this is my fast knob. If I can completely turn it up, you get this effect. Which is not nearly as silly and weird as what happened on the Electro uh, Harmonics. Lester K, but nonetheless, it's 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 pretty unnatural sounding. I keep it right about here. All right, so acceleration is uh, that's when we go into second function mode, which we do by pressing these at the same time, and you'll see these begin to blink, so we know we're in second function mode. All right. Um, balance. Oh, we'll, we'll deal with that in a second. Acceleration. So this tells us how fast it's going to accelerate. So when I step on the pedal here, you might want to do that if you're doing your, you know, your classic gospel kind of. Um, I think it's a bit much to put it there, but in the middle is a little weird too. That's still not quite as slow as I'd like, so I'm going to put it right here and come up with this. Now I like that because that gives me some real, must be missing one of the little feeder, it's not balanced on the Nord right or something, sorry that's driving me crazy, that's better. Um, where was I? I get distracted easily. So, oh, I was talking about the uh, balance. I like that it takes its time slowing down. You can adjust that to a degree that's not possible on the others. So, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so let's move on while we're still in second function mode to slow speed. Slow speed is exactly what it sounds like. This is the speed that everything's rotating at. That's all the way slow. I think it sounds best right about. Yeah, that's that's great. Mode, uh, we will not talk about that too much, but that talks about, um, have to get into the manual to remember what that's for. I almost never use it, but it's essentially talking about uh, the response, whether this is latched or not when you step on it, whether it's in stop mode all the time and speeds up to slow when you press fast, that sort of thing. There's different options, it gets pretty deep, but you can consult the manual if you, if you want to for that. <clears throat> Remote. Uh, that's talking about the 
pedal that I've got plugged in here, which is actually, I've got it set to just um, toggle. So I'm pressing it down now and letting go. I'm pressing down and letting go instead of it latching. In other words, having to hold it down and let go and hold it down and let go. So that's what that's about. <clears throat> Level, pretty self-explanatory. That is essentially your volume. So let's go back into uh, normal mode by pressing those two, which it'll even tell you to get into second function mode. Press, bypass, and slow fast for second function. Easily, easily done. <clears throat> These are far more uh, resistant when pressing down. They, you really got to step on them or press them to get those to go down, as opposed to uh, the electro harmonics, which is really like buttery smooth. It just you can do it with your finger very easily and you can still do this with your finger it's not a possible thing by any means but these are much more resistant to that uh, very well made in fact all three of those pedals are extremely well made I'm, I'm really kind of surprised I throw this one in my gig bag uh, when I go do different things and it's it's held up very very well the worst it's got is a little scratch here and there so expensive pedal Expensive more than the others, but uh, I think it's worth it. I do, I really do. Now, what's this overload thing about? You're probably wondering. Well, Neo tells us, Neo Instruments, that's the company that makes it here out of Germany, they tell us that uh, the best sound is gonna come out of this thing when we crank up the input, in this case, I'm turning the master volume level up on the Nord and just laying on the keys. They want this to light up ever so slightly once in a while. So you get this. So they want you to light that up pretty heavy and then back off until it stops. And they say that's where you're going to get your best sound from. So, I am, by the way, using expression pedal with the uh, with the Nord. Just good, really good. Uh, let's do the swipe with the second and third. and slow settings and the ability to change them and to edit them like you want. You can make it sound like any Leslie that you want. It's a really nice feature. Now, let's just play with the um, distance, high and, uh, high and low here, so you can hear what happens when we turn them all the way off. Nothing. So it really, really, really kills that signal. So let's just give it just a little so you can hear. Turn it all the way to low only. That's interesting. Now let's do both of them about halfway. I 
like it about right there. So it's got that in your face Doppler effect going on. like the swipes what this does to swipes I, I don't know why but I really like what it's doing to the sound it's got a really nice kind of um, 3d effect going on you know I'm going to turn the reverb up a good bit on this just to have some fun. Yes, I turned the uh, percussion on. Oops, and the reverb off by mistake. drive it just sounds so Mix it up a little bit and put some room reverb on. Thank you. 
I really hope you're using headphones for this because when I turn those up, especially you're going to hear a definite pronounced kind of back and forth like this in the ears. You know, it's, it's like here's your two ears and they're going. So it's. Now, we've had enough fun with the ventilator, let's bypass it and turn on the Nord's Leslie simulator. It's a bit loud. By the way, you can go in and do some uh, editing to the Nord um, Electric, uh, sorry, excuse me, Leslie. So I've got it set to 122 close. Here's the close version with three draw bars out. Now you'll hear the difference in this and the regular 122. Let's pull up some upper draw bars so you can hear. So we'll go to the close version. to the regular version. So it's just a little more distant. I prefer the close version myself. Okay, so this has been a comparison between three different pedals. Let's see if I've got them here. Get them in the camera. So first up, we had the Leslie pedal with its 122A, 147A, 18V, and Pro 40 cabinets. Next up, we had the Lester K Electro Harmonics Rotary Speaker Emulator. And lastly, we had the Neo Instruments Ventilator 2. And of course, we also were comparing with the Nord Electro 5D internal simulation as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been instructive and informative. 
and I hope it's helped you decide which one of these pedals you might like to purchase. Uh, I know it's really, really, really difficult to get a feel for these things without hearing them yourself, and so that's why there's no trickery involved here. All I have going on is the, uh, well, actually, I don't mind showing you. If you look over here at the Nord, all we have on is the reverb. There is no EQ. None of the rest of it, it's, it's all off. Basically, you've just been hearing either the internal simulation of the Nord or the various pedals. And I know it's, uh, it's very difficult to come to a conclusion about what you might like without hearing it. I mean, it's just a guitar pedal, an effects pedal for keyboard, whatever. And by the way, these work for keyboards and guitar as well as whatever else you want to run them through. Um, or run through them, excuse me. And I want to make sure that you have the chance to hear all the different ones. There's a definite distinct difference, a character that is inherent in each one of those and many others that I didn't test that I don't have access to. Um, there's other popular ones. Pictronics makes one. There's the Roto Choir. There's the Strymon Lex and on and on and on. I believe, based on my experience with all of these, that these are the best three that you can buy. Just based on my experience with playing all of them that I could get my hands on. And I don't think you've probably Googled any that I haven't actually used. So I think this is a good sampling of what's out there. Works incredibly well with the Nords, but it also works really well with pretty much anything else. And I highly, highly recommend any of these pedals to give you a more realistic sound when it comes to uh, some keyboards. There are keyboards out there that just have excellent pianos, great synth strings, all that sort of thing, but they just don't do organs at all. They just sound, sound bad. So throw one of these babies on there and you're in a whole different world and it sounds so good. That's a great way, by the way, to get that tone wheel sound because most, most anything that has uh, even a resemblance to a sine wave is going to work fine if you run it through a quality Leslie effect pedal or uh, Leslie effect of any kind. It's going to work much, much better. It's going to sound much more realistic. You're going to go into a whole new category of realism, and it's going to be just excellent for your setup. So don't go out and buy another keyboard. I bet you didn't think you'd hear a salesman say that. Don't go out and get another keyboard, uh, and then you've got two to, hang, to uh, haul around and all that. If that's what you need, that's what you need. But first things, try one of these three pedals that we've been looking at today. And if you have questions about the Nord, or any other keyboards. If you have questions about the mic I'm using, which is a short MV5, by the way, uh, all of the pedals and the Nord are going direct line in into a Focusrite Claret 8 Pre, straight into Logic Pro. There's nothing going on as far as processing. I literally applied no EQ, no reverb, no nothing. This is a very raw sample of what you're gonna get with all these things. If this has been helpful, which I hope it has, and you've got more questions, feel free to contact me. I'll leave my information below. Uh, you can get in touch with me at Sweetwater that way. And uh, you're also welcome to just contact me personally. I'm happy to answer any questions that I can. Thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Always appreciate the views and the support. Have a great rest of your day or night.